The Logitech G203 wired gaming mouse is a classic six button gaming mouse with programmable buttons, two LED elements, and three programmable zones of LED lighting. Inside the box, you get the Logitech G203 Light Sync, which is just a remake with a little bit better features of the Logitech G203 Prodigy. It connects up to your computer with a very long two meter, 6.6 .6 feet cord that ends in a type A USB. What I really like about this cord is that it is very flimsy and easily slides across your desk, doesn't get caught on anything. And this is something that I didn't realize would make a difference until I compared it to the Pictech T17 that I'd reviewed previously and absolutely loved. The cord on the Pictech T17 was a bit thicker than this and did get caught on my speakers every once in a while, but this cord does not. The mouse itself is plastic construction, has two buttons on the side for forward and back, the left right click, scroll wheel, which can also be clicked, as well as a DPI change button, which allows you to change DPI on the fly. On the back end are the two LED lighting elements, the G, as well as the halo that goes around the back of the mouse. This is a classic clamshell mouse, so it is a bit smaller and it is very lightweight. And if you know anything about me and previous videos, I usually don't like lightweight mice. This is different. I actually found this one to be really enjoyable, especially with the lightweight cord that made it slide very easily while I was playing League of Legends, going through spreadsheets, or playing Minecraft, which you should join our server, which will be linked below. The buttons on the side, the forward and back, are much better than the other mice that I have reviewed in this price range. For context, I picked this up for 15 bucks. Usually it retails for 40, we'll have it linked in the description below, but if you keep an eye out for deals, you can pick this up for as low as $15. The left right click are crispy, and I haven't noticed any problems there. And the scroll wheel is tactical. It works, people. The DPI button just above the scroll wheel allows you to cycle on the fly through five different levels of DPI, which you set in your Logitech G Hub software. We'll go through that in just a bit. But if you click it, it goes through your DPI. So if you're playing games, want it fast, or trying to do something tedious in Photoshop and want it slow, you can do that on the fly. The size of the mouse is a bit small, and I've been told by those that do the palm style grip, I think that's this, it is a bit small for that. So if you do that, don't get this. But if you're like me and have eight and a half inch hands and use your mouse normally, this will probably work. I admit it is a bit on the small side compared to my other mouse, but I didn't actually mind it. On the bottom are four different slide pads that allow this to glide easily, as well as the Logitech gaming sensor. Sorry, the Logitech gaming, the Logitech gaming grade sensor. It's really all the info I could find on this thing. Either way, I thought it performed fine. So if you're an entry level gamer like me, or maybe even intermediate on some days, this will work for you. If you're a pro, go spend 200 bucks on a mouse. This is way cheaper. What really sets this mouse apart from the $20 mice that you see on Amazon is the software. Logitech's G-Hub software is much more polished than any of the driver software I used on Pictech mice, as well as Red Dragon. And while those mice and software may work for some people, you may want something a little more, and this is it. Inside the Logitech G-Hub software, there is a lot of configuration that can happen with this mouse. It gets even better if you have a Logitech keyboard or other Logitech peripherals that use LED lighting, with the Logitech Light Sync technology, you can sync up all the LED lighting on your mouse, keyboard, other peripherals, it'll look really sweet. Unfortunately, I don't have any other Logitech peripherals. So if you work for Logitech or are somehow affiliated with Logitech and wanna send us some, comment down below. Inside the LightSync software, you simply select your mouse and right away we are met with the sensitivity and DPI menu. There are five different levels that you can configure ranging from 200 DPI all the way up to 8,000 DPI. I would say that my personal sweet spot for DPI is around 3,000. On the screen just below it, we can do some assignments and each button is programmable. You can see the chart for these six different buttons. Additionally, you can set keys for specific commands actions that are related to certain applications like Discord and OBS, macros if you're that type of person, and then lastly, this system thing, which I really haven't dug into and 
probably won't, but the configuration is there. What we really came here for is the light sync, and there are a lot of different lighting options because we have the two LED elements that I mentioned before, but also three different areas, the side, back, and other side that you can map lighting to. So under the presets, we have a lot of fun things we can do, like breathing, color wave, color blend, but my personal favorite, audio visualizer. And what this does is it takes the audio stream from your computer and visualizes it on the mouse. It's like a rave for your hand on your mouse. If you'd like something a little more creative, you can go to the freestyle tab where you can map custom colors to the three different zones. And what I really like about this is that for each change you make, you can see it right away on the screen rather than having to lift your hand up and look at the mouse, make a change, lift your hand up, etc. That, my friends, is what you call intelligent design. On the last screen are animations like ocean wave, red, white, and blue, vertical. Don't know what that one means, but you can adjust the speed and cycle in reverse cycle, bounce, random. I'm not really sure the difference between animations and presets. Either way, you get the point. Lots of lights happening on this mouse. The other thing that you can do within the Logitech G Hub software is actually set different profiles for your games and how the mouse is configured. Additionally, you can do that sync up with all your other peripherals. We don't have them. Sorry. For those of you thinking of buying the Logitech G203 LightSync wired gaming mouse, this will be a modest upgrade for those of you that currently are just using a standard mice or maybe even those lower level Pictech T17s Red Dragons, but those are still great mice for most entry level gamers. This mouse is lightweight, glides effortlessly with its floppy cord and four slide pads. The left and right clickiness is satisfying. Not top tier, but satisfying. The forward and back buttons are much better than others I've seen in this price range, and the scroll wheel, no complaints there. What I think really sets this apart from other mice in this price range, especially if you can get a deal on it at 15 bucks, is the software. The Logitech G Hub software that allows you to configure three different zones of LED lighting, sync that up to your other peripherals, but also map your buttons, program macros, set your adjustable DPI, five levels, 200 to 8,000 DPI, among other things. It's the software that sets it apart. The mouse is good, the software is awesome. If you wanna buy it, it'll be linked in the description below. Less than 1% of you are subscribed to the channel. If you wanna show us some love for free, simply go down and click that subscribe button. And if you really found this video helpful, don't forget to drop it a like. If you wanna say hi, comment that down below. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching folks, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bird out.